Vice President Harris's capital gains tax proposals. The first is to increase the capital gains rate from a maximum of 20% to almost 45%, 39.6% regular rate plus another 5% investment tax. Add in your state tax, you're probably at 50% or more. So when will that apply to you? Well, let's say your home appreciates in value and you sell it. And let's say you sell it because you're moving. Sorry, capital gains tax, 50%. Or let's say that um, you have stock options from work and they appreciate in value. You feel like I, I really need to sell these. I'm worried about the stock and you sell them and capital gains rate, 50% or you have a business, you put your heart and soul into your business. You're an entrepreneur like myself. And most of your assets are in your business. Most of your wealth is in your business because you've always had this plan. When I retire, I'm gonna sell my business and I'm gonna pay 20% capital gains rates, which is about the same as if I put my money in a 401k because when that comes out, it's typically at a, about a 20% rate. And, uh, it's going to be great. I'm going to have the money in order to live for the rest of my life. No, sorry. That's a 50% capital gains rate. You say, well, let's say I have an office building and that office building, I'm just going to sell that. I'm going to trade it for another building that provides maybe a more steady stream of income, like a Walgreens, for example, something like that. Okay. Well, that's called a 1031 or like an exchange under the Harris proposal, capital gains rate, 50%. What about instead you say, well, I'm just going to give my business to my kids. Okay, well, now we have a capital gains on gifts. Again, 50%. And that's even though you got no money from your kids for the business. Or you decide, I'm just going to wait until I die. Now we have a 50% capital gains rate when you die and a 40% estate tax rate. So you're gonna leave 10% of your, the value of your business to your kids. Let's say instead that you go, well, I'm not gonna sell it at all. I'm just gonna hold on to it. I'm, I'll, I'll be fine. Okay, now we have the unrealized capital gains tax. That means as your business goes up in value, you're taxed 50%. Your um, let's say that instead it's your home that goes up in value. Oh, I'm sorry, 50% capital gains tax. Your jewelry goes up in value, 50% capital gains tax. Or whatever you own as it goes up in value. On top of that, you have to get it appraised every year. And who's paying for that appraisal? Well, you are. So while there are good and bad proposals tax-wise in both camps, both the Republicans and the Democrats, the one I'm most concerned about is the capital gains tax proposals that Vice President Harris has proposed and frankly, President Biden before her. And so if you want more on this, you wanna learn more about this, please subscribe below, um, subscribe to uh, uh, this YouTube channel, subscribe to my podcast, The Wealth Ability Show. I'm really glad that you are paying attention to taxes Taxes have not been much of a subject of conversation during this election cycle. Now they are. And the more you pay attention, the more education you get, the more money you'll keep.